Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what a power over Ethernet switch is, how it can power your IP phones in your office, and I'm going to show you exactly why you need one. So stay tuned and let's jump right into this. So here is a more or less standard 5 gigabit, uh, 5 port gigabit desktop switch um, that is power over Ethernet with four PoE uh, ports, four active PoE ports. So let me explain to you guys why I have this power over Ethernet switch, also called PoE switch, and what it's actually used for and how it can help you power your IP phones in the office without having to use any plugs. So what we have here is basically an Ethernet cable, the blue cable you see here, that is coming from the other side of my house. So for those of you who don't know, I typically work out of my home office. I have two parts to my home office in my home. I have my master bedroom that is on the whole other side of the house that has a desk that I'll take my laptop to and has a Polycom um, PO, uh, PoE capable phone that sits on my desk. And then I also have on the whole other side of the house where I'm sitting at at the time of this video is an actual addition that I had put on this house that is my actual physical office. The same one that you guys see me doing videos in time and time again uh, for, uh, for our channel. So to sum it up in a nutshell, this blue wire that you see that's on the far right is the one that is coming all the way from my master bedroom office all the way over to here. Now I've got devices over here such as multiple IP phones, one that I actually use here in the office, as well as ones that we demo um, that we get sent from one of our partners, VOIP Supply, as well as some other things in the office that also require power over Ethernet, like a ubiquity access point. The dilemma here is, is that some IP phones, as some of you may or may not know at the time of this video, less and less manufacturers of IP phones and service providers are shipping their phone with a power adapter, such as this power adapter here. So basically in short in my office right here and like the case with most uh, with many people that have a home office or um, have a commercial office with lots of phones or lots of other electronics you may not have this adapter with your phone or you simply may not have enough plugs in your office for this adapter especially if you're somebody that has many phones the second and most common scenario is scenarios like in my home office where I've only got one run or one Ethernet cable, as you can see here, coming into the office, which seems to be common with a lot of home offices. I work with a lot of uh, folks that are looking for a new voice over IP phone system or looking for IP phones that, you know, they're in a home and to run wire through a home is not only um, can get costly, but can be very difficult and also destroy the aesthetics of your home. So um, basically what a PoE switch like this here does is it allows it to where if you need a wire that needs to have power going up the wire for a device that you either don't have a power adapter for or you don't want to add a power adapter to it, you simply get a PoE switch like this. Now, your typical five port switch typically costs anywhere from maybe like $20 to $30, whereas I think I paid about $42 for this PoE switch. So um, let me show you guys exactly kind of what this does and how it works. It's going to be a pretty short explanation video. It's basically just like any other typical switch that you would normally get, except the switch actually supplies power to devices that are PoE compatible, which in the case and it for the purposes of this video would be IP phones. Not every IP phone on the market at the time of this video is PoE capable, but most are. So let's get into that. So here I've got a Yealink T54W. It's a really nice IP phone. As you can see here, it's got what's called a gigabit pass-through on the back. It's got one for internet, so this is where a cable coming out of my PoE switch needs to go into. It's not only going to supply this phone with its internet so that it can get its IP service, it's also going to supply the phone with its power as well because it is a PoE or power over ethernet compatible phone. Hence, therefore, it works with the power over ethernet switch. Now, as you can see, there is the ability to have an AC adapter with this phone here, but the phone didn't come with an AC adapter. As I mentioned earlier in the video, most manufacturers and most distributors ship their phones without the power supply. So they are assuming that you're going to either buy the power supply separately 
or you're going to have a PoE switch like we're demonstrate, demonstrating in this video to be able to supply power. So let's go ahead and hook our, let's go ahead and hook the one end of our cable into the internet port and then we're going to go ahead and hook it into the switch and get power. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug the one end of the CAT6 cable that is hooked back to the PoE compatible port on the IP phone into the switch. So let's go see what we got on the phone. And now we are going to plug the one end of our CAT6 plug that connects back to the phone and to the switch. So let's go see what we got on our IP phone. So as you can see, our Yealink T54W actually has power. It's not only got power, it's also got internet and it's also pulling an IP address from my router that's on the other side of the house. Um, as you can see, our PoE switch here is hooked up. It's got activity going to it and it's going back to the phone. Blue wire for our internet and um, network coming in and then black wire that is going out to our Yealink phone. As you can see, the Yealink IP phone is actually powered on, as you just saw. But as you can see, there is absolutely no AC adapter in the um, DC5V plug. So it is quite literally being powered with power, the phone itself, through the same cable that is also supplying its internet so that it can get back out to its respective uh, service provider, i.e. Vonage Business, Nextiva, Ring Central, you know, the list goes on. One thing I want to point out is not every phone, but on most phones, just like the switch, which is PoE, this actual port is also PoE, which means if I wanted to go out to another phone, let's say uh, this, it will use a scenario, and let's say that this was like a front desk reception area, and there's two receptionists that work at the same front desk lobby that take incoming calls. You could come out of this PC port with another CAT6 or CAT5 cable just like this and go into another phone, another IP phone um, that is also PoE capable and daisy chain it and power, not only power that phone but also supply that phone with its internet. Um, I really don't recommend that people do that like daisy chain, daisy chain, daisy chain, multiple, multiple phones. But in scenarios where you may want to do that to two or maybe up to three phones maximum, it's actually kind of a cool perk and feature. A couple of pro tips that I'd like to cover before we wrap up this video. Number one, not all gigabit switches are fully PoE ports. What do I mean by that? Okay, in this scenario, as you can see, this is a five port gigabit desktop switch, but it says with four PoE ports. As you can see down here, we have ports numbers one through five, ports number one through five here, but only ports one, two, three, and four are actually PoE capable. Um, now, it isn't such a big deal with this one because this one has a decent amount of PoE ports. For those of you who are shopping a gigabit switch or anything like that, it is really important before you hit the checkout button on the cart or buy it from the store that you look to see what the ratio of PoE ports is to the ratio of actual full ports. While this one is perfectly fine, I've seen many, many switches in many, many stores or online where it could be a 24-port gigabit switch, and out of that 24 ports, only eight of them are power over Ethernet capable. What does this mean? This means that if, say, you've got uh, 18 phones, 18 IP phones in your office, you're going to need a 24-port gigabit PoE switch. You, in a perfect world, need to make sure that that switch is a 24 port PoE capable switch, meaning 100% of the ports are PoE. This is a really important detail and I can't stress to you guys enough how much you need to check and double check this before you buy a switch. I've seen many switches out there that are 16 port gigabit but only have four PoE ports or they're 48 port gigabit switches that only have you know 12 gigabit uh, 12 pit power over Ethernet ports. So that's a really, really important detail and important gotcha that can kind of get you um, in that regard. 
One final pro tip that I want to throw out there is you can only transmit power over, over Ethernet to power over Ethernet compatible devices, i.e. a, a you know an IP phone, from the last link in the chain being power over Ethernet. What does that mean? Okay, so in my office, I have a router on the other side of my home office, and I also have another switch just like this one, but it is not power over Ethernet. I can't even, this blue cable, this blue cable goes back to my other non-power over Ethernet five port switch on the other side of the house. Now, does that mean that I can plug in an IP phone into that switch on the other side of the house that's non-power over Ethernet and get power? No, absolutely not. You have to come, the last link in your chain has to be the power over Ethernet switch for you to power whatever devices you're trying to power on the other end. So if you need to power multiple uh, you know, devices with PoE, with power over Ethernet, I recommend that you go PoE across the board for your router, for your switches, you know, for your router and for your switches throughout the office instead of mix and match. So that concludes this video on what a power over Ethernet switch is. Um, in short, what it is, is if you're somebody who's in a home office and you don't want to have to deal with the headache of having to run wires um, in your home, you know, or, or something like that, it, you could just get a PoE switch like this and then come out of a PoE switch like this to multiple IP phones or multiple other devices that are PoE capable. Um, also, it is a way to really cut down on clutter and um, offices where you might have a lot of devices and uh, may not want like a bunch of AC adapters like what uh, we've got over here. So um, in short, that's what a power over Ethernet switch is. Um, if they typically run anywhere from about, uh, I would say they run anywhere from about 30 to 50 bucks for five port ones. And then they can get as high as close to a couple hundred dollars for ones that are 24 port. And then the price goes up from there. I've not seen too many that are over the 800 to a thousand dollar range, but it really is a thing of like how high end do you need to go and how many ports do you need? Um, if you're interested in the pricing and just the overall selection of different power over Ethernet switches out there. I'm going to put a link below this video to the PoE switch uh, section on VOIP Supply's website. They're a partner of ours, a partner that sends us a lot of hardware for review, and they've got a great selection of power over Ethernet switches and a great sales team over there that can actually help make sure you pick out the right one for your budget and also for the scenario and setup that you are trying to accomplish. So um, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.